Welcome, Jamie here with RoyalWise. Uh, I just want to do a quick little video to show you how to do screenshots on your iPhone. Uh, we just published our screenshots video tutorial for the Mac OS utility called Screenshots, but people have been asking me, well, how do I do a screen capture on my iPhone? So let's take a look and see. So here I am on my iPhone 12 Pro, and to do a screenshot, we're looking for the buttons on the side of the phone. On the one side, we're looking for the power or sleep button, and on the other side, we're looking for the volume up button. If we push those two buttons at the same time, we get an instant screen capture. Don't hold them down too long, just press and release. Now we do have the floating thumbnail as a preview, but if I ignore that, it'll just kind of go away and I can find that later in my photos application. But another great feature is once I have that floating thumbnail, I can tap on it and pull it up into the editor, which allows me to edit and or mark up this photo. So let's go over some of those features. First off, I've got my crop handles and I can grab a handle and just come up and crop some of this out if I want to. And along the bottom, you notice I have a series of different pins and I can decide on whether I want a thicker or thinner pin tip or if I want it to be more or less opaque. The other decision I have to make is what color would I like to use and I can choose from the spectrum or I can use some sliders, but the grid is easy enough for me. Go ahead and make that purple. And now all I have to do is write on the photo and there's my markup ready to go. Also along the bottom on the far right, you'll notice there's a plus sign. If I tap that plus sign, I can actually add text. I can add a signature. I can use a magnifier. I can make things more opaque. And I even have squares and circles and arrows and all sorts of stuff like that. So if I want to, I could just pull up a circle. I can let people know that this is where you're gonna find that. And again, that's the plus sign down in the bottom right corner to add anything that you wanna do as far as a magnifier or a signature, things like that. Now that I finished my marking up along the bottom, along the top, we notice we have have an undo button and or a redo button if we would like to undo or redo. We also have a trash can, so if I just think this didn't work, I could hit delete and trash it. And then my favorite is the share button. I absolutely love the share button. So now I can text message or email this. Uh, at the bottom, I could say copy it or print it or whatever I need to do. And quite often, I'm taking a screen capture to show something to somebody or demo something. So I don't even need it in my photo, so I can come here and mark it up um, and then share it. And then when I'm done, just hit the trash can and delete it. And it doesn't even go into my photos. It just says, do you want to delete this screenshot? I'm my other option is the done button in the top left corner. And if I click done right there, it's going to ask me, do I want to save it to photos? Do I want to save it to my files area? Or do I just want to delete this screenshot? Because I've already done what I need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete that screenshot. So there you have it. Super quick, super easy. Uh, leveraging that power sleep button. And on the newer phones, we're going to be using the, the volume up button. And all on the older phones, we're going to be using that home button. Again, Jamie with Royal Wise. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a like. Uh, make a comment if you have any questions. And uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel or come visit us at royalwise.com. Thanks again. Have a great day.